The actual drive mechanism used in this Altair mini disc cabinet is a FD200 drive made by Pertec. This is a single sided drive, but it actually has two index hole sensors and two Rypertec sensors. The reason is that allows you to flip a disc over and use both sides of the disc manually. So you have a manual double sided disc. You take a look at a diskette, you see that you have a hole here on the left and a right protect here. And if you were to flip it over, they're now on the opposite side. So that's why this drive has two of each sensor. Now people did this, they called it flippy disc, without these features in the drive. And you'd actually cut a hole in your jacket over here and punch another notch. And you can actually buy some of those types of discs called flippy discs, but they weren't real common. And of course, manually getting this hole punched in the jacket was not easy. So this drive actually made it something that just worked with any medium. So let's go ahead. This is Altair Disc Basic. We'll go ahead and uh, examine FF00. And set port to, uh, terminal port to 2SIO and hit boot. Hit run. Takes a few seconds to boot. Alright, so that's up. Go ahead and answer the prompts. Alright, like you might have seen in other demos, at this point with Mini Disk Basic, you would remove the original disk and then insert your, uh, your data disk because the boot disk couldn't be used for reading and writing your own programs. Also, what we're going to do is instead of sticking in a different disk, just remove our boot disk turn it over and use the other side. So now I'm going to hit return for the mount and you can see the drive doing the mount going through the 35 tracks. Alright, that's completed. You can see what's on the disk. and we can load a program. So it wasn't advertised as such in the Altair literature um, and this wasn't the only five and a quarter inch drive they put in there. Sometimes it was a Shugard SA400 which couldn't do this. But of course Pertec owned Altair towards the later days and it was not uncommon to have the Pertec drive in there. It's kind of a handy little feature. You have flippy disk capability without actually having to have custom modified media.